So I need to start adding a lot of pinks here and there. Smooth some uh, colours out, especially on this tongue. It needs to be quite a pale looking pink. So really it's about going back and forth between um, lighter pinks, darker pinks, just to try and build up a good bit of tone on this uh, tongue and um, the blood uh, bits here. switching to different pinks don't want to make it too pink really but there's certain parts of it that's uh, going to be lighter colour than the blood so the red colours so I want to try and thin them out a bit and these whiter areas I want to try and uh, get rid of as well and any bits of grey that's still left over just try and go over that with some light pink. I'm going over it lightly, I don't really want to press too hard because I may want to add some other layers of the other colours over the top later, but for now this is this is saving our purpose building up the layers. That is something I forgot to say that this um, this collar in inside is like a shirt and uh, from what I remember um, is wearing like a, a grey jacket on the outside as well so I think we'll have um, the sort of lines of the jacket <coughs> excuse me yeah, I'm sort of the same colour as the tie I'm going to add some darker elements to the tie but um, this is I'm working on the the jacket here which comes round there and make it darker I may have to ink some other little bits but it's best to try and work on just showing that darker because it's it is darker in the, from what I remember anyway, um, like a, a suit jacket sort of thing. That's something that I can blend with some other greys. This is warm grey 7, which is quite dark obviously as you can see. And get more ragged areas coloured in. So I just really want to make this a really good drawing, if I can. Hopefully I want to try and finish off quite a lot of the skin tone up there and, you know, things like that. But I just thought I'd start to add that grey there, just to remind myself I can come back to that. i move this slightly up a bit now. Try and zoom out a little bit. So now I want to try and add uh, a bit of that blue background that I said. <coughs> Excuse me, I got a bit of a cough today. Corky throat. It's annoying. I blame all the chemtrails in the sky by the government that, um, you know, it's too many. I took my kids to school the other day and there was like loads of. You know, like uh, airplane jet streams in the sky, like all crisscrossing. Uh, I think can't be that many planes crossing. You know, at that time of the morning. I don't know. It's a bit odd to me. Anyway, that's my little run out of the way. 
got a croaky throat because of chemtrails. <laughs> so I'm trying to avoid the hair there. I can thin that out a bit more and um, neaten it up a little bit. But for now, I want this blue to be uh, quite bright for now. It's going to fade off maybe as it gets a bit up there. So. Um, I'm going to just draw all these sky just around his head um, because it just adds a nice framed colour and it helps set the grey off as well once once I finish that. So yeah, that's my reason behind it. I want a nice even coat but I'm not too worried about the streaks because I can um, straighten them out um, you know, later on. So it's it's not to be worried about drawings have many layers and the coloured pencils will smooth all them out anyway so it's uh, it's all okay except for my croaky throat chemtrails <laughs> <coughs> So yeah. So I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna continue with this, and I'm gonna come back, and I would have done all this like blue area, but I'm gonna taper it off a bit here, and then do like a lighter blue, and then I, with coloured pencils later I can just transition it a bit, and um, yeah, blend it a bit, and we'll see how that goes. So I've added uh, that blue. Uh, colour there, um, thalo blue, that was the one. I'm not too worried about the streaks, like I said. Um, I did start like a bit of frost blue, which is a lighter blue on the top, but I may do all this darker blue the full lot. And I've just um, added more grey tones on the shirt there. Um, so I realised the, the shirt collar is a bit more ragged uh, than it actually was in the movie but I'm not too bothered, it's my own version of this anyway um, so long as I've got the face near enough right and that's all that matters I just want to try and do some uh, subtle little skin tones and things I've got like a barely beige uh, colour here I just want to try and test some uh, colours. Just try and do bits here and there. You can't really see. I'm going to zoom in a bit. Yeah, so I'm just trying to go over some of these greys as well. Just I don't want to want to do too much of this uh, colour because it's quite overpowering and more more like a proper skin colour, which I'd, I want to try and keep a lot of the paleness of the the skin. Um, you know, because it's like a, a dead zombie. So, try and do that. I'm going to do bits of the ears and stuff like that. But, and I think it would be good just to add um, some, like, maybe some sunspots to the head. Because it's like an old guy. I mean, the, the, um, I think the sort of nickname of this uh, zombie is Dr. Tongue, I think. I used to call it a Colombian necktie zombie for some reason, <laughs> you know, um, but no, it's Dr. Tongue, I think, yeah, that's when I've searched on Google and things like that, so I do some like sunspot things on the skin, you know, just, just little spots here and there just to like age the skin a bit more, and like I said, I don't really want to do too much. Uh, with this sort of uh, skin colour just about adding details here and there now something that I can add more to as time goes on uh, with like coloured pencils and things like that there you, go. you can see that it's like a, a long drawn out process there uh, doing all this colouring um, lots of layers and stuff like that. Um, that's something that I always try to 
uh, rush and you know but I don't think you can uh, rush drawings uh, particularly if you want them to look good so I think you've got to spend the time on these illustrations just maybe more like um, textures skin textures that's what it is just trying to work out adding more so I've got a dark sepia colour which is a really dark grey um, I really want to try and concentrate on uh, trying to trying to sketch some individual hairs you know just with the the tip of the the pencil and it's just adding more detail as well you know trying to layer in the detail and it's something that I can expand upon bit by bit I'm never going to finish this drawing in this video but at least I can just show you bits that I'm working on just to try and advance the drawing So, like darker roots of the the hair, and then they probably go lighter as you know it, it goes on. And it's probably darker undertones on this side as well, and try and fill in a lot of the gaps that I've left. That was just so I can fill it in with these coloured pencils. And as long as you don't. Um, sketch too hard with these coloured pencils you can add more copics in between and over it and you know um, it's just if you absolutely press hard over it you probably won't get any copic uh, marker going over that at all well it probably would add something but it won't won't look right I've tried that before details in the background behind the ear and if you do a bit too much uh, dark sort of areas you can always bring them back out with some white or lighter sort of grey colours but these like textures of the hairs will eventually keep going over them maybe keep sharpening the pencil to a really good point and they'll they'll show through in the in the final um, design drawing so yeah um, I can come back to that one um, what I want to try and do now is um, I'm sure there's some kind of light purple around the eyes um, not too much but I really want to try and work on that I'm just gonna lightly go over this with some purple I've got what colour exactly manganese violet these are the polychroma pencils and I'm just going over really lightly there you can just see the faint look of like purple just under the eyes it just goes quite well I think but again I don't want to press too hard with a pencil I just want to try and get a suggestion of the colour just around the eyes I'll do it over them grey bits because it shows up a bit better a bit of darker grey copic uh, I think it was one grey five on the eyes because I'm going to turn them blue um, just add like a blue hint I'm sure there was blue if I remember I've, I should have like a, a google image right at the side <laughs> of me just to for reference but I've, I've got it in my head anyway so it's you know 
sort of uh, in my head sort of thing. I think I'll add some frost blue to them eyes just to add like um, a blue around the outside. And we can turn it down. I don't really want it. I'm sure they are blue if I remember. Oh well, too late now. Let's <laughs> try and add a bit of darker blue right in the middle. There. I just kept the little reflection line there. Um, I may go in and just make these pupils totally black for good reason because I can uh, go over some grey maybe perhaps and make them really um, like they're fading like they've got cat cataracts or something so you usually go real dark on areas that you want to try and do that that's my reasoning behind that right now I'm back to the blue um, sky colour in the background I want, I want to try and erase them streaks um, I know it won't be easy I've got a light phthalo blue polychroma pencil and I'm just trying to test to go over some of them streaks um, I don't really want to press too hard again I just want to cover it lightly because I can build up the layers like I said and it, mainly I'm after like with this pencil covering you know the, the lighter streaks not like these darker ones I can cover them with a uh, darker pencil So I just want to make it as even as possible, but not as uh, hard with the pencil, if you know what I mean. Um, so I'm, I'm adding colour, I'm transferring colour, but I'm just like adding it. You can't really see it there, but it's adding a nice um, little coat of this pencil to it best thing about these pencils is they're really blendable and this is part of the technique that I'm trying to trying to do so yeah so I could get like a darker blue um, obviously I want it to be a bit more darker down here and then blend it through and then it will get lighter if I can get some more lighter colours at the top here and then uh, try and work out like a, a sun haze just around the head maybe and the hair and just make the sky and thing to stand out be pretty cool I think So like I said, I should have filled that little gap in there, I'll probably come back to do that with a Copic, Copic marker. As you can see I'm, I'm not pressing too hard again, I'm just adding further layers, lots of layers. And even that way I can still go over that with um, this you know, Copic marker if I wanted to again. And I'd go over it. You can create layers and it just creates it more more darker. I can fill that area in now that I, was, that I missed for some reason. So 
So we've got that darker area. That's something that I can work with. And just keep keep adding loads of layers and stuff. It's you know it's a slow going process, but somebody's got to do it. <laughs> so I think if it's possible, I think I need to add more blood to this. Yeah, do this as do this needs to be more. Yeah, I need to widen this a little bit. Um, so there's like lots of blood. I'll just add more to it, I think. Splatters on the teeth. So, yeah, this is. Like I said, just slow going and you know, trying to do this and um, sort of puts the other videos that I've been working on into perspective really because they're, they're way longer, you know. Um, still got to edit bits and pieces. I've got to do it in stages because Windows Movie Maker, if it, you've got like long files and stuff, it, it freezes and crashes all the time, you know, when you're trying to edit stuff. So you have to like close it and then add all the bits again and so I've had to do it in like like bits and pieces like you know and label them you know part one or something and then I can just put them all together yeah, it's a bit annoying but it's uh, you know what I've had to do I mean I've got that yeah, other movie maker the Sony one but I ain't used it for a while so I've got to I've got to reinstall the CD again but I'll try and do that and hopefully but that even that used to crash as well so it's I don't know it's irritating when I've you know I'm getting on like with loads of video content and stuff and then stuff like that goes wrong but it's it's part of this I think so I just gotta muddle through it and do it but yeah adding uh lots of blood to this one let's just come out a bit there we go yeah slow going I think I'm gonna end this vlog you, are, you already can see you know the direction that I'm going in with the blue sky in the background I do want to turn that down like I said um, try and add more like grey tone and things like that um, I don't like um, so well, I'm not like wasting videos, you know, and wasting time doing this. Um, I wanted to try and do a bit on it and try and just show you a few things, you know, particularly like the hair and the way I, you know, colour blood and stuff like that. Um, but I think the main thing is if I do these videos, um, I think it's best if I try and work on one as a whole and not just like a bit on one day and uh, you know a bit on the next and because uh, I don't end up finishing anything but these are the vlogs so the daily art vlogs so Monday to Friday now so I'm I'm just doing bits what I can and then off camera I'm doing other illustrations and stuff um, yeah so I'm only doing like stickers and other stuff at the moment but I'm trying to finish off other bits of art illustrations and things like that but this one's shaping up to be quite quite good so I'm quite happy with it so I'm going to leave that there and say thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video cheers now